Another subway attack here in New York City. This time the victim is a cellist who performs on the platform while attending medical school. Now after the violent attack, it is not clear that he will ever play in the subway again. He spoke with Amber Cogliano. It's a truly disturbing act of violence. A musician in New York City viciously bashed in the head by a random stranger. The woman lurks behind him, moves in, then picks up the cellist's metal water bottle and whacks him. In the middle of one of the songs that I was doing, I just felt this, this impact, this terrible crashing pain along the back of my head. 29-year-old Ian Forrest is a third-year medical student at Mount Sinai Hospital in Manhattan, who also plays in the subway for the pure joy of performing for people. Please welcome Ian Forrest. He's such an accomplished cellist, he was invited to play the national anthem at Madison Square Garden last December. But what just happened to him is leading to outrage across the city. It does, you know, anger you that just in the subway station, you're doing your own thing, that that could all be broken in a quick moment with an act of violence and hatred. Ian Forrest was playing his cello right here in the Herald Square subway stop, a popular place for street musicians to play. After the woman hit him with the metal water bottle, she simply disappeared. This isn't the first time he's been attacked. Last June, he was punched and choked while playing in Times Square. At the end of a performance, uh, this man came over and tried to steal my cello, my donations, and then proceeded to punch me repeatedly in the face, put me in a chokehold. You may never play again in the subway. You may never go back. It definitely gives me pause to want to say, do I want to go back and do this again and put myself out there in harm's way? safer bed for him now is the atrium of Mount Sinai Hospital, filling the air with beautiful sounds. Police are still looking for the suspect.